I think herbivores are better. No carnivores. Herbivores. No carnivores. Herbivores. Welcome to preschool. We're talking about carnivores and herbivores. These guys with the sharp teeth, they are carnivores and they have sharp claws. They eat meat. Carnivore means they eat meat. And these guys over here, what do you think they are? If you said herbivore, you're right. They eat plants. See how their teeth are a little bit different? They actually have flat teeth and they don't have claws. And we'll talk about them some more. Welcome to preschool. This book is going to teach us a little bit about some of the dinosaurs. It's a really cool book. It's a pop-up book. So when I open the pages, the dinosaurs pop up out of it. This dinosaur is called a Stegosaurus. Do you see how it has these plates on its back? Do you see these plates? They're actually bones. They're really hard. Why do you think a Stegosaurus would have plates on the back of him? If you said to defend himself, you are right. Let's pretend a T-Rex is coming. Rawr! And he goes to bite the Stegosaurus. What's gonna happen to the T-Rex? He's gonna get hurt really bad. Stegosaurus are plant eaters or herbivores, which means they have flat little teeth inside. See how their heads are a little bit small and they're low down to the ground? They eat things like bushes and probably grass and just things that grow low to the ground. This is a Stegosaurus. They don't have claws on their feet, they have flat feet, kind of like an elephant. Okay, let's see what the next one is. A, did you see Triceratops? You're right. This is a Triceratops. I know it's a Triceratops because he has three horns. One, two, three. Tri means three. T-R-I, like Triceratops, and triangle, that means three. It has three of something. A triangle has three sides, and a Triceratops has three horns. Triceratops have a really cool thing about them. To protect their neck from animals, or from dinosaurs like the, like the Tyrannosaurus rex, or maybe even a Velociraptor, somebody, um, a dinosaur that eats meat or is a carnivore, he has this cool protective um, thing that goes around his neck right here. Isn't it so cool? It's made of really hard bone, so this is bone, and it has really tough, like scaly skin on it to protect it. Isn't that so awesome? It's called a bony frill. That's what's behind his neck. Looks like a fan, huh? So Triceratops is an herbivore. He eats plants. He doesn't have sharp teeth. He has like a beak. It looks kind of like a beak, like a bird, huh? but um, he eats plants that are low to the ground because he's not a tall dinosaur and he doesn't have a really long neck like a Brachiosaurus. Um, if you were standing next to a Triceratops, that's about as big as you would be, isn't that cool? And they don't have claws on their feet, like for hunting. They do have little nails that help them dig in the dirt. Maybe they try to find things in the dirt. So that's a Triceratops. are the long neck dinosaurs. Can you see him? He's so tall, it's hard to see him. Look how long his neck is. Pokes out of the book. Not high up. Why do you think they have long necks like this? If you said it's because they try to reach the leaves of the trees, you're right. They do, they have these long necks so that they can reach up really high and get the leaves off the trees. Um, they also use their tails and their necks for protection. Just like the Triceratop has horns to protect him, and the Stegosaurus has those bony plates on his back for protection. The big um, long neck dinosaurs, which this is the Diplodocus right here, there's different kinds. This is the Riojosaurus. 
This is the Ultrasaurus. Woo. And this is the Yanni Chia. Whew. Those are hard words to say, hard names. So these, have, they're very big. They are humongous. Do you see these little guys standing next to them? Look how big this one is. This one, these are all very big dinosaurs. You can walk underneath their bellies. They're huge. And they have long necks to reach up to the very tall, tall trees where they lived and their tails they would use as kind of like a whip. They would, they would bat with, if a dinosaur was threatening them or trying to hunt them, they would use their big, huge tails to swipe at them and to get them to go away. So what kind of teeth do you think they have? They are herbivores. Right, they have flat teeth. They don't have sharp teeth. They use their teeth for grinding their food, grinding the leaves that they are chewing on. And they have feet a lot like an elephant. Do you see that? It's kind of flat. They do have some nails. Maybe they use it for digging a little bit or you know, moving the dirt around. So those are our long neck dinosaurs. Ooh, these dinosaurs live um, near water. And they, there are, there's this one right here called the duck bill. Its nickname is duck bill but it's called the Parasaurolophus. That's a hard word. And this one is the Hydrosaurus. This one is an Iguanodon. That's an Iguanodon. And um, they're not as big as the long-necked dinosaurs, but they are still really big. And they like to live around where water is. So what kind of things do you think they eat? They eat um, the plants from the water, like seaweed and those kinds of things. So this one says, Iguanodons um, lived in large groups and used their spiked thumbs for defense. So if somebody was trying to eat them or attack them, they would use these spiked thumbs to defend themselves. They don't have any teeth. It says toothless beak. So they didn't really have any teeth. They ate mostly food from, from water. They were plant eaters that lived in what is now America. So these dinosaurs, they found the fossils in America. <gasps> Whoa. But you can't guess what he is. He is a carnivore, you're right, and he's Tyrannosaurus Rex. <gasps> is Tyrannosaurus Rex your favorite dinosaur? Oh, which one is? What's your favorite kind of dinosaur? Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex, that's kind of his nickname, T-Rex. He has super sharp teeth, look at these teeth. And they're really, really big. They're about this long, or even longer than this, if you actually saw a fossil of one of the dinosaur's teeth. They are so big, they're probably bigger than that. Um, they had very, they have very short legs. You see these tiny little arms? They had tiny arms, which made them a little bit off balance. And if they ever fell over, it's hard for them to get back up. Sometimes they couldn't get back up. It was really hard for them to get up. And they had really strong back legs. They have really sharp claws. What's that for again? Right, hunting. They had to hunt, because they're carnivores. They had to hunt. So they have large teeth and they have large claws. And um, these dinosaurs didn't do a lot of hunting. They would actually scare off other dinosaurs that had hunted, and they would eat what they had already killed. They kind of were stealing other animals' food. How rude, huh? This one is an Allosaurus. So like a T-Rex, he has sharp teeth and sharp claws. And this is a, let's see if I can say that right, Xenotarsaurus. 
Zenotarsosaurus. Oh, Zenotarsosaurus. Wow, that's hard. And he's also an eater. You can tell by his teeth and his claws. Yeah. They can run pretty fast. They have really strong back legs. Oh, this is my favorite dinosaur. Any of you know what it is? It's a Velociraptor. Do you see that guy? He's so cool. Velociraptors have these really big claws right here on their feet, and they would use those when they were hunting. They can run really fast, and they actually work together with other dinosaurs, other Velociraptors. And um, yeah, they're just smart. They're thought to be a very smart dinosaur. They have big eyes for hunting and they have really good ears for hunting so they could hear really well. This is a Coelophysis, Physis, Coelophysis. Huh, I've never seen that one before. See that? Do you see? If I do this, he can flap his wings. Some dinosaurs could fly. Did you know that? This is not a. Uh, here, let's see if I can get a better side angle. You see his face? There's his face. Not crazy. So he's not a pterodactyl, this one, and he's not a pteranodon. This one is called a Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. So they lived, um, they were um, flying reptiles, and <clears throat> they were the largest creature ever to fly. They were, if you look down here, see that little guy standing? This is how big they were. They were humongous. Their beak alone, this big beak, was five feet long and was toothless but sharp to cut its food. They probably scavenged for meat, meaning they're carnivores. <gasps> they ate meat and they were hunters from the sky. Oh, that is a big bird. Look at its long neck. Not a bird, but a dinosaur. That's a big dinosaur. Flying dinosaur. There are also some dinosaurs that lived in the ocean. This one is a Macroplata. I think that's how you say that. And he was pretty big, if you can see behind this guy's wing right here. See, that's the guy. He was a pretty big guy. And you see his sharp teeth. Ooh, if he has sharp teeth, what do you think he eats? You're right. He eats meat. What kind of meat do you eat underwater? Fish. He hunted other fish in the water. So he's a carnivore. And he lived in the water. That's why he has these flippers. See these flippers? He's really big. He was like, like a shark kind of, huh? Yeah. All right, well thanks for learning about some of the dinosaurs today. Scientists have thought of ways and reasons why the dinosaurs died. Some scientists believe that there was a big asteroid that smashed into Earth when the dinosaurs were alive. And that created a lot of problems with our Earth and killed the dinosaurs. Um, some scientists think that climate changed, meaning it got really, really hot or it got really, really cold on our earth. And so it made it so the dinosaurs couldn't live here anymore. They couldn't find food and they couldn't find the water that they needed to find. So those are some of the ideas that scientists have had about why they think dinosaurs died. Someone's staring.